part two. Saturday, 13, 29, 24 seconds. The year 2024, seventh month, July, sixth day. It's kind of funny how on exactly the 4th of July day, all of a sudden, the heat wave started. <laughs> Gee, I wonder how that happened. Now I'm just saying, could it be someone's playing around with the weather control buttons on purpose? And there could there be a good side to it too? Well, evidence to consider.
That's the brother that got his fingertips chopped off at the Birmingham, Birmingham, Germany. The steel mill, the steel mill. Tony Iommi got his fingertips. The same two fingertips that Russell's fingertips happen to be the same exact two fingertips, except on the different hand. Because Tony is left-handed, but Russell is right-handed. Well, I wonder what the weather control buttons were being pushed on purpose to cause that to happen. Just like weather buttons can be pushed to cause fires to happen. As well as robot humanoids to happen. Well, and imagine there, there could be a bad side and a good side and all kinds of sides with it to consider for evidence. Ooh. Father to modern weather 
under control. It's on YouTube. His name is Ben Livingston. He was the first one that publicly came out and said, I have developed weather control technology and weaponized weather so that we can inflict weather control warfare upon the enemy. It was Ben Livingston that developed this technology for the military. And it's on YouTube. And it ain't no big secret. And just as it can be a bad thing, it can also be a good thing. And all kinds of other things. All depends on how one wants to use the teary-eyed, fretful cry and weep papa. Are the hands a bad thing? Are the arms a bad thing? Are the legs a bad thing? Is the foot a bad thing? Is the heart a bad thing? Is anything a bad thing? Or can anything be used in a bad way? And is a bad way a bad thing? Or can anything bad thing used as a bad thing can be used stuck in the mud bad with it and stuck in the mud abusively bad with it and looking to keep it that way forever sometimes referred to as the most unpleasant place to ever be most popularly called heaven and hell Tony I owe me song Heaven and Hell Black Sabbath Tony I owe me Remember <laughs> It's just clues or evidence or puzzle pieces universal puzzle pieces to put together to figure out huh wonderful wonderful all the wonder wonder without having to ask any stuck in the mud abusive questioning. Ah, the all natural, natural wonder. And there are all natural questions too. It's just that questions have seen to got stuck in hell. Wonder of it all, the county of the state. The wonder of it all, enemies of the state, the people. Weather control, weather control.
And the fans long to come The fans long, long to come Otherwise known as a stock market. 
All because the king didn't want to allow the girl to rise up. Ooh, ooh, could it be? Ooh, and look, the cops, the cops with the girl. Mama, the queen, the cops with the queen. G, 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 G. Tony Iommi just put up a video last month, and him and the guitar player for Queen were striking up a video. Oh, well, who's the guitar player for Queen? Ooh! That would be Brian May! Ooh! The May Queen! Ooh! Or is that the May Queen that's been stuck under the Bay King. Wonder who is who around here. And I wonder who also has a little child inside that's been staffed out with the May King May property tax bill. Ooh. That's the universal king energy at the higher level. Extraterrestrial alien. The big shot. Ooh. The big guy way up in the sky. Ooh. Ooh. Could that be Zeus? The mythological god, Zeus. Who has been known for in the past with all his beautiful people known as the Olympian gods and the Olympics. Zeus, who always ate Mother Nature's children because she would give birth to all kinds of different children. Children with a hundred heads Children with 30 toes, children with one eye, children with different shaped bodies. And Father Zeus had a hard, hard time accepting Mother's wonderful children. For now you are the treasury. Instead, Zeus went bankrupt with dishonor. Big Mama would have never, ever been. 
to all the mythological giants that got caught in the mud with the great flood. And they died standing up in the water. And it was boiling water flood. When Jupiter gave birth to Venus, according to the ancient cultured historic records, Jupiter gave birth to Venus. And when it shot out Jupiter's vagina, it whizzed past the Earth with great heat. However, it missed the Earth and sideswiped Mars. And the planet Mars has a scar for the whole NASA telescope world to see. And the planet Jupiter is just another name, another name for Zeus. According to the mythological stories, and Zeus, otherwise known as Jupiter, is the astrological sign for Ozzy Osbourne. Managed through Sharon Osbourne, who is widely known throughout the Earth, for the American Idol program. A judge sitting on the panel to vote for new money may king acts. Not saying that it's a bad thing, Cause there's a good to every bad And there's a bad to every bad And both the good and bad Have capacity To get stuck in the What 
his reaction was back then. And if one wants to examine the evidence, one can pull the YouTube videos up and start digging if one feels like digging. And their lies, it's just a third-party story from a third-party story. Cause everything's just a third-party story. Crack the gong, the Bob 
especially when the note is held with the brass stuff. Ooh. Now, just color that chord anyway with the seven notes, and that will be called the sheriff. Watch this. Except for those that can't see, it's going to be the big list sin. Himalayan mountains in India. 
It's the Flamingo. Go watch the Netflix or the YouTube video on the Flamingo. It uses every last ounce of strength that it has to cross those mountaintops. Also known as the Sharp 5 Frequency, the Harmonic Minor Note. Ooh, that has become popularized in the Spanish tradition. Spain! The Crusades, Spain, Spain, when they went up against the Muslims, Spain, Spain, when history is studied. Don't want to forget history and don't want to be ashamed to recall it and put it on the radio. But just keep in mind, everything's just been a story. No one really knows what really is going on back then. All that matters really is what's going on right now. And put the pieces, the puzzle pieces together for now. Of course, that's just the story too. Could be a little bit of everything.
It's also known as an arrest. Just play around with the vibration frequencies, otherwise known as notes. So 
someone out there wanted to get rid of the evidence forever or for a time or for however the point is the evidence was looking at being hidden away so the original observers decided to write the story down in code so that whoever read it would think ah this is just any old regular storybook about people and places and things this is a harmless little book no need to destroy this one but the stories were written in code to come across that way now think on that having enough skill to hide and preserve evidence within, within a common everyday story that even the dishonorable persecutor would welcome. Ooh. Now, that's what you call some serious shit right there. That's a piece of fucking masterwork right there. But it wouldn't stay in code forever. only the great philosophers the great masons and the great illuminists who valued that sacred book and the stories that hid an ancient ancient wisdom that used to be known quite prevalently throughout the earth and probably the stars as with anything It can't stay hidden forever. But just enough time, a temporal night order time, just enough time. So when the bully persecuting child represented in the storybook even remember it was Esau that persecuted Jacob according to the story and according to the story Jacob is Israel and Esau are the Muslims. But remember, that's just the personalized version that came out 2,000 years ago with Emperor Constantine. And that is the most popular version today. But that's not the original version to that Bible 
or those coded stories. Behold the evidence! Behold the answer for all the wars going on. As I could be, you know. Behold! There's something to hold. Evidence to consider. With a book. That some have been looking to get rid of. Whether knowingly or unknowingly. The ones that know are wanting to get rid of the book with purpose. And the ones that know at the top have trained children to want to get rid of that book. They don't even know the real purpose. evidence. Is it a good idea to get rid of evidence? Even if the evidence is being used in a twisted way to fuck everything up. As a what if could be. This is what the lawful share is sharing. The mother that claims to have given birth to rule souls. Mother, the universal mother that has given birth to the universal
wonderful concept called checks and balances. That idea came from an old ancient wisdom. That is a universal natural existence called expression and audit. But it's been turned into a paper storybook interpretation in order to enslave the universal energy. That's not a bad thing. This is a good side to it.
think it might be, well, we might have to pull the Bible out and have a quick look here right on camera. Let's pull one of those old ancient books out and read the story. Let's see here. There happens to be an old ancient Bible on the, on the shelf. Let's see here. Let's see if it shall be located here. Here's Psalms. What's after Psalms? You see, it's been it's been many years since the brother brushed up on the Bible. Brother used to brush the Bible every day for fucking sometimes hours at a time. Just brushing the Bible every fucking day. Not a day would go by where the brother did that for 30 years straight. It was like fucking food. <laughs> Of course, that was under the, the new interpretation, the personalized Jesus, from Emperor Constantine and the county board members that voted the new interpretation in. And remember, the new interpretation also has a good side, too. Imagine that the universe even, even allowed that, even brought that forth, expressed that, too. Ooh. Fire, earth, air, and water. And there's a fifth one called Ether. The Ether. The Black. Ah, it might be Ecclesiastes. It might be Ecclesiastes could be the book. Clean the Astes. Yes. I think this was uh, the prophet. The prophet that got, he got, he got, I... Isaiah, is this the prophet Isaiah? Or it might start with a J. One of those prophets wrote, clean the Astes, please. Clean, clean the Astes. Clean the ass, please. Let's clean the asses. Too much child shit going on. <laughs> says here, says here at the beginning of this book, this particular Bible interpretation, it says, let, 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 let. All right, let's, uh, let, let's wait for the fans, let, let's, let, let for the fan, wait for the re the fan regions to, uh, to settle, to settle. We're wa waiting for the fan regions to settle. The, the fan region winds have been blowing for the past two hours straight. Two hours straight. Ah, ah, yes. Shall remove the glasses now. <laughs> remove the protective vision wear. <laughs> ah, get rid of that condom. Put it on the wall. Hang it on. Hang those glasses, those cover-ups on the wall. That, that condom, that condemnation on the wall. Con condoms are just temporary. From too much wind, too much vote for me applause, too much vote for me applause, yes. Anyway, the, this particular book is called the Good News Bible, today's English version. It starts off with an introduction. It says, well, let's get this microphone off the stand and walk around. Unravel the frickin' cord. <laughs> Unravel the fucking cord. <laughs> Unravel the king's Gordian knot here. Ah. Ah. Let's shut. Oh, gotta keep that. Can shut this amp off. Shut the zoom off. That would be the. The special. Ah. It goes, the introduction to Ecclesiastes. The book of Ecclesiastes contains the thoughts of the philosopher. Now that's old, ancient Illuminati Mason words right there. The philosopher. 
Also, some, some called eternity. The, philo the old ancient of philosophy is called eternity. The philosopher's stone. Also known as the elixir. The elixir. Ooh, the elixir. The great philosopher's stone. In order to, that represented that secret thing, how to obtain immortality. That secret thing, how to obtain immortality. Some called it the philosopher's stone. Others called it the elixir. Others called it the great gold. The gold. <laughs> Some motivational speakers will call it the yearly goal. The yearly goal is to press 500 boards so we can get $200,000. The yearly goal, yes. <laughs> the old ancient knowledge has been replaced with a lot of temporal night order artificial stuff. Yes, indeed. Today's yearly goal is to make $500 million so we can keep the rich richer and the poor poorer and have plenty of slaves. Today's goal. <laughs> One begins to start to see some things. Anyway. It says, the book of Ecclesiastes contains the thoughts of the philosopher, a man who reflected deeply, deeply now, deeply, not splashing around on the surface of the water, splashing around, splashing water in each other's face with a bunch of wars. <laughs> Reflect deeply, deep. That's the maritime system. It's a water system, and the water gets submarine shark whale stingray deep at the bottom miles down under there where the pressure the pressure the pressure the pressure the pressure to speak up the pressure to speak up and audit and reveal and expose is great and could be great again and again <laughs> and it could get getting great again and again until 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 Ooh. Are there wonderful metaphors and allegories here to consider? Ooh. Anyway, the philosopher, a man who reflected deeply on how short and contradictory human life is, with its mysterious injustices and frustrations, and concluded that life is useless. Now remember, this is coming from the modern Jesus interpretation to an old ancient book called the Bible. That would be the Solomon. That was his conclusion with all the wisdom that he had that uh, Emperor Constantine and the board members gave him, of course. All the wisdom that Emperor Constantine and the local county board members or state board members gave him because remember, the county is just a subdivision to the state, the religious state, of course. Well, <laughs> the wisdom that is given to anyone's story is only as wise as the ones that came up with that story. Well, of course, that's a whole lot of common share sense right there. So remember, from that perspective, according to the modern current interpretation to this old ancient Astrology Jesus book, an old coded book, according to the inter modern interpretation, which is only a couple thousand years old, which probably came out of China somewhere, because it is the oldest recorded civilized civilization on the planet, according to his story. Even the university dean shall agree with this. Anyway, <laughs> the old Silk Road. Study the old Silk Road and the gong and how it relates to the Liberty Bell. Hmm, the Vatican English breakaway. Ooh. Well, anyway, moving on. According to the latest modern interpretation, Solomon is considered to be the wisest man that ever lived. <laughs> Interpretation never said that the 
Solomon is the wisest man that ever shall live. It just said that Solomon was the wisest man that ever lived. So that leaves a whole bunch of room for another story to come in. That possibly there could be other wisdom coming down the road. Ooh! <laughs> well... <laughs> Go read the book at least a couple hundred times to see if it doesn't really say that. Because you'll never know till you know. Otherwise, it's just something that someone else said. Right? Left, middle, all angles. Anyway, moving on. It says, the wisest man. So that tells us who wrote this book right here. It was Solomon. Because he was the one that said that statement. This Sicily brother knows that. That was a refresher course right there. It wasn't Jeremiah. The brother was thinking it might have been Jeremiah the prophet or Isaiah the prophet. This is the, these are the songs of Solomon and these are Solomon's cry. The Ecclesiastes is another word for cry with tears. So imagine that. Solomon was crying, and in his cry, he said, I have, with all the wisdom that I know, I studied everything, man. And I'm telling you, I had sex. I had sex with animals. I had sex with humans. I had sex with every fucking thing. Didn't matter what it was. I'd fuck a rock, a pillow, a hole in the ground, no matter what it was. Basically, is what he's saying. He says, I fucked every god that you could think of. And he said, you know what? He says, oh, everything that I've considered, life is useless. He said, this fucking life is fucking useless. Imagine that. But remember, that's Constant, Emperor Constantine and the board members. They're the ones that voted this in. They are the ones that voted this in as evidence to consider now. Think on that. Let's read that one again. This is known in the pulpit and all and all pastors, even the Vatican. They'll show this one. They'll say this. They'll say it. Solomon looked at everything with all his wisdom and he concluded, life is useless. So in other words, who gives a fuck? Let it all go to hell. Besides, the end of the book says everything's going to come to a big fat ass war. What's the worst living? As long as I believe in Jesus, everything else is a bunch of shit. And after I die, oh my God. Well, he promises now. He promised. He said, so, someone told me a story that if I just allow myself to die, that there's something on the other side called immortality. <laughs> And, I, and this Sicily brother is here to say, uh, well, that's just a story. That's just evidence to consider. It could be. Could be. Doesn't mean that it is. And it also could be a big fat ass lie. Just as much as it could be the fat ass truth. So I guess it's really up to whatever one wants to have 